Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, you know, I got another retake video to show you guys and this one has been highly requested these past few weeks, I guess, few days, and it's pretty much been on how I do my backwards retakes. If you have not seen my past few montages, uh, I highly recommend you do. Please go watch it right now. I posted two, you know, one's called Smooth and one's called Clean. Uh, they're actually real bangers, so please, please, please go check them out. But in those montages, if you didn't notice, I actually did some retakes that were backwards. I developed my own style of what I call now backwards retakes, which you guys are dying to know. Made a montage out of it, hit some, you know, banger shots. And in today's video, I'm pretty much gonna be showing you guys how to do those backwards retakes shown in those two montages. Real quick, before you start the video, if you guys wanna use my code and support me, which I highly recommend you do, you know, it helps me out a ton, you guys don't even know. Uh, it's just loyals, loyal with an S and Thank you guys so much if you guys use my code. You guys are the best. But yeah, with that said, let's get started with the backwards retakes. All right, so guys, now I'm in my map. Bro, I haven't played this game in forever. I've just been on Minecraft, but pretty much if you haven't seen the backwards retake, it pretty much looks like this. I'm just going backwards and going up layers, which no one would have ever thought would be the way to gain layers in a game. But yeah, I don't think I really mentioned in the intro what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, pretty much, I'm gonna be showing you guys, you know, a couple of retakes that I used or you guys seen the videos, how you guys in your own way can use these backwards retakes and create your own kind of cool combos with them. Uh, the only time you can really do these are when, or actually the best time you can do these is when you're on the bottom corner of a ramp. So it could be left or right. I usually like doing left, that's just because that's just the way I play, or it might be because I'm right-handed, I don't know. But whenever you're at the bottom of a ramp, if you move backwards and jump, you can place a floor and a ramp. Then right as you place or land on this ramp, you can look this way and place a floor and a ramp. Now I'm gonna do it fast for you guys. Pretty much I'm at the I'm at the back and I would walk backwards with my joystick, go like this, this, this. So it's like this pretty much. And you could create an infinite loop of doing that backwards movement. But yeah, pretty much it's just like this. You get to go backwards and you could keep doing this. It does take a lot of practice, so you guys will have to, you know, obviously practice it. You may be thinking that this is completely useless and pretty much just used to show off, but not really. It could be used in a lot of instances and lots of I don't know, different retakes and combos, and it can help you gain height. I'm not even kidding. These backwards retakes can help you gain height. Now, the first trick that I use is actually, you've probably seen me do this in my montages, but uh, what I'll do is I'll go backwards, place a cone here, and place a wall. Then I'll do cone, wall, 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 ramp. I was trying to do it slow for you guys, but <laughs> that's hard because I would have fell and had to grapple up. But pretty much, it looks kind of like this. I'll go like this, wall, ramp. Then from here, what people usually do is like go like this way or something like do it. Kind of a retake. Oh my gosh, no way. I, f I pretty much just start this again, go like this, like that. Then from here, what people do is probably edit this way and do a retake there, retake there. But using this backwards method, Right here, you can place a floor and a ramp, then go backwards and go out this way. I know I did that weirdly, <laughs> let me try it again. But pretty much you could go from this ramp, go backwards, and go just like this. Which is really confusing, because they'd expect you to keep going that way, or at least go to the right a bit and face this way. But you're doing a 180, or what could be a super 180, and kind of face this way and turn around. So quickly, this is what it's going to look like. You do this, 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 this. Just like that. It barely looked like I did it because it phased weird. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's also another method where you actually do this, do the same thing, and place a cone up there. And instead of placing the ramp over here and going this way and backwards, uh, you could actually place the ramp over like this. Then once you land over here, you could phase up. Then from here, you could just move backwards and go like this. So quickly, it'll just look like this. It's pretty cool. Now, if you want to take this trick to the next level, I do have some really impossible stuff. And I did hit a clip once or twice doing this really impossible one. Pretty much you're going to start like this, this, and then right here as you jump, you're going to do this. And what I did was place a cone there, floor and ramp. Then from here, you're going to phase up again, <laughs> phase up. You're going to be right over here. Then instead of going this way, this is going to be a lot harder. I don't know if I'll be able to get on video, but you could actually jump on this end, which will look like, oh yeah, okay, it's it's a bit too hard. Let me try this. 
There we go, just like that. It's really hard to do though. Yeah, don't recommend doing that one because it's not really worth it once you get it down anyways, just saying. All right, another really cool one that I do is I go like this, this, this. I know, really cool, right? You're gonna jump here, go like this, place a cone, wall, wall, there should be a wall, oh, I guess a wall, yeah, wall over here. Then, this is really hard, you're gonna be moving backwards, then as you're moving backwards, you're gonna jump like this, which is really cool. After that, you can place a wall, cone, and then go like this, place a cone, wall, wall, and uh, just side jump. <laughs> but, it is a lot to do, uh, I actually mastered this one, I could probably get it first try, let's see. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, I kind of did it there. I don't even know. I didn't do the side jump, but you get the idea of it. Now for this next one, I don't actually do this too much, uh, but it's pretty much a 90 fake out, which I actually just figured out an hour ago. When you do 90, you're actually at the bottom of a ramp at the start. So pretty much you could do the backwards trick and go this way. So it kind of, you can turn it into a fake out. Pretty much it'll just look like that. People will think you're doing a 90, but you're really just faking out and going the other way. Like you're kind of going backwards. So they're gonna expect you to go this way, but really you just place a cone and jumped out this way. So fast, it's really just gonna look like this. And yeah, really confusing because that ramp plays there and they're not gonna see that coming. But pretty much those are the main ones that I do. I might actually make a series about this because there's a lot of retakes you can create with this backwards, you know, method. But pretty much the most important thing aside from those retakes is you can do this retake whenever you're at the bottom of a ramp or at the bottom corner of a ramp. Whenever you're doing a free build and you find a situation where you're at the bottom left or right of a ramp, you can do this backwards retake. Just think of it, just, you know, do a couple retakes, do a quick free build and just pay attention to where you are because if you're at the bottom of that ramp, you could do the retake. Just like this, boom. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much gonna have to wrap up the video. You got the whole idea of how to do it and some cool little retakes that have the backwards movement in it. Anyways, like the video because if you made it this far you technically liked it because if you didn't like it you would have clicked off the video a long long time ago let's be honest but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and peace out